Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle book review of Lost Oasis, Doc Savage. Now, I was going to say by Doc Savage, no, it's not by him. Uh, this is Fantastic Adventures of Doc Savage by Kenneth Robson. I mean, it's possible he wrote novels as well. He seemed to be, he was a superman. He could do literally everything. So he probably wrote this and recorded music, etc. However, there's a long list of various other books. I think there must have been a lot more than that. Because I remember loads of these coming out. You know what? I never see these now. Never see these in your sort of local charity shops. I don't know what's happened to them all. Now, I remember the film. I love the film. Also the comic books. I enjoyed the comic books. And I thought, well, I must get one of these again. Reread it. It's got 123 pages. Quite slim. Uh, it's 1965 this came out. Amazing. And it, well, originally, of course, it was 1933. And I assume the Doc Savage magazine back in the day. So you've got there the... All the various things. So you've got a strange, mysterious figure, glistening bronze skin and golden eyes, etc. He's got obviously a gang of uh, various people that have got various geniuses and various things. And of course, he's a, he can do everything. However, what happens? Dog Savage and his amazing group suddenly find themselves prisoners of Sol Yatal. I assume that's how we said. And Hadi Mott aboard a hijacked Zeppelin. And there's all plants and monstrous blood sucking things. However, lots of different, because that's the whole thing at first. When you start reading it, I was thinking, hmm, near enough like a vampire story. This is going to be like vampires. We're really going to seriously, I'm oh, sorry, a bit of a spoiler. It's, I don't think that Doc Savage really tits into too much of a real truly mystical sort of things with such a vampires or zombies. Real, There's always some sort of boring conclusion what they, they are. It's, uh, however, fantastic exploits. And of course, it's all completely ridiculous. There's all situations all the way through this where he gets himself into. And they're always getting out of it by a mysterious thing. They can throw a few more this and they've got this like a bat belt. They've got this literally massive arsenal of things that they can always do. There's always some explanation as well. And it's just, but it's just great. The story goes along quite a pace. I mean, literally, I mean, you've got the fluttering death. I mean, well, it's just brilliant when you've got time. And of course, you've got very few female characters. I mean, there's, there is a, female character but she doesn't get really much you know this is sort of occasionally the background just this and that oh she sort of like falls in love <laughs> with uh, Doc Savage that sort of but Doc Savage come what's his name <sighs> that sort of stuff and there's all the and the things is he can do this and he can do that I love the way he has like two hour training where he's sort of doing his exercise and goes into a room and say like, how does he do that when he sort of he always does it he can go and then he sort of does his trilling sound where he can sort of concentrates on things to, which is probably a pretty good idea but I've got Lady Nella Nelia something like that however you've got all the, and you've got gangs and things and loads of stuff and various strange powders and things which they there's a lots of great stuff and it just goes along at a real pace I mean it's 123 pages you can read this in a couple of hours an hour probably really rattles through it and the story's completely daft all the way through but what a joy it is to read and I think these will make great comic books as well strange enough they have done some in comic books I love the comic book series Marvel did as well as of course others Dynamite of course have got Doc Savage at the moment I think they still do Doc Savage I haven't looked recently however let's just go to the back you've got I'm not going to show you how it ends now I must admit the end is always a bit what's his name as well because you've got builds up all the way through oh it's this and it's that and all that sort of stuff and then really the conclusion bang and actually the conclusion, you you work out the conclusion from the start. I don't think there's any way that you wouldn't work out. I mean, I think as soon as I heard about the character and the character, the villains, I thought, I know how they're going to end. And I think you work it out. And then you got all the various new releases there. Now, I don't know what was here. There was quite a few sound, good sounding ones. Actually, that sounds Robert Sheckley one. That sounds good. And some, and some similar cron. That sounds good. Similar cron. The shattering look into the future where Madison Avenue posters and computers take over. I think they got that one right. Who knows? And is there anything in the front? Oh, it's just, it says the books there. Some of the books, obviously, that were at the time. I assume I'd say there was a few more. I haven't checked. So maybe there are, this is number six, apparently. I haven't just noticed that. Number six, it says there, which is good. Oh, it's number seven. I don't know, it says number seven there. However, how confusing. Could be either, I don't know. 45 cents it was as well. 
Totally recommended. If you're looking for a good little venture, pulp novel, obviously these were the pulps. I think they produced millions of them. Most of them, of course, you virtually impossible to get now because they're so ancient. And uh, you, they do, you do find them occasionally, I'm certain. But Lost Oasis, Doc Savage, thoroughly enjoyable. Total hokum. And actually, in many ways, the cover sort of spoils it, doesn't it? Because it sort of gives you that sort of feel of the book start about the vampires. And then you can see on the front cover, it gives a big clue. Though, I'm not certain how effective that was. But very enjoyable. Totally recommended.